everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these two little mini charms. So first I'm going to show you how to make the bow, and next I'm going to show you how to make this little flower, which you can also make a four leaf clover. So I'm going to show you how. Let's get first started. We're start off with our bow charm. What you're going to need for the bow is one rainbow loom, a rainbow loom hook, and some rubber bands. So, let me just get this stuff. Okay, and let's now get started. We're going to lay the rubber bands on the loom. So, we're going to take our first rubber band. These are not double banded. However, you can double band them if you want. So, we're going to stretch our first band from this peg to this peg. Take our second band third band just like so. <laughs> now we're going to take another band and stretch it from the middle up and again like that. This is how our bands should be laid on the loom like this and like this. Now we're going to take another band and stretch it on this side. Take one more. That. My hands look huge in this video. Let's look at that. Okay. And then we'll take that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this same shape right up here. So we're going to go like that. Almost. <laughs> like there. Then we're going to go like this and like that. And now the other side. That is what our bow laying of the rubber band should look like. So now we're going to start the hooking process. What we're going to do is flip our loom around. And we're going to take one rubber band and loop it around this peg to create four loops. There we go. Now, let's start the hooking. So what we're going to do is reach underneath this band and grab the very top rubber band there and loop it to, loop it to the side. Now we're going to reach underneath, grab the band, loop it up, reach underneath, loop it up. Now we're going to reach underneath here, grab the band, loop it up. Like that. Our loom should now look like this. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with this peg. Reach underneath all of the bands that you laid. This is really hard to see. My camera is really bad. Reach underneath them all and grab the top band and loop it to ugh, this side. Then reach underneath. Underneath and loop it like that. Now we're gonna reach underneath these again. Oof. Grab the top band, loop it up. Fix that right there. Reach underneath and loop it up. Now we're gonna reach underneath here again. Grab the last band and loop this one to the side. Just like that. Now we're done with the hooking and now it's time to take it off the limb. So what we're going to do is you're going to reach underneath all of these bands and grab a single band and then 
pull it straight and loop it back onto the loom. Now we're going to take this rubber band right here and pull it off the loom so that we make a slip knot. I'm going to pull that tight and whoop, take it off the loom. Whoop. Just like that. So now this is what your bow is going to look like. And this doesn't really look too much like a bow yet. So we're going to take our rubber band and loop it around. I'm going to be using hot pink. So we're going to put it on and then just keep looping it to create kind of the middle of the bow. Like so. I'm going to actually take another pink and loop it around. So that we now have our cute little mini bow charm. And this uh, rubber band right here, you can like loop it under the pink or just leave it for your bow charm and then you can attach it to something like a rainbow loom hook. Yay! That's a... Okay. There. You can put it on your hook, you can put it on your backpack for school or anywhere. So now let's start with the second tutorial. Woo! For the second tutorial, all you're going to need is your hook and some rubber bands. So and this tutorial is, once again, for the little baby flower, which you can also make a four-leaf clover. So I'm going to show you how to make it. First, we're going to start off with making the petals. So we're going to take a rubber band. I'm going to use purple. And we're going to loop it around our hook three times so that we have four loops. One, two, three, four, just like that. And then we're going to take two rubber bands of a certain color. I'm going to be taking one green and one blue. We're going to put that into the hook. Now we're just going to slide this looped purple onto the rubber bands like that and we're going to set this aside. Okay, we're going to make uh, four more of these so that we have five and I will be right now that we have all five of our little petals what we're going to do is take them and one by one we're going to put them on our hook. So we're going to put these two loops through and these two loops through so that the whole petal is on the hook. And one second, let me just move my camera so that it's a bit easier for me to loom. So now we're going to do that with this one. Just like that. And scoot that back because we're going to have these all on the hook. So now that we have all of our petals on the loom hook like this, we're going to take another rubber band. I'm just going to be using green and we're going to put it in the hook part. And then one by one, we're going to slide our petals. Oop, okay, need to push these all back more. But one by one, we're gonna slide the petals from the hook to the band. So I'm gonna show you. So the band is looped. We're going to take this petal, just like that, but with all five of them. Ugh. Okay, 
I really need to get a better camera. So, because I use my iPad, it doesn't really work. So, now that we have all five of the pedals on the hook, we're going to put the other end of the rubber band on the hook so that it looks like that. If you want to make a four leaf clover, just only make four petals and make them all green. So now we're going to take this band, pull it over, and slip knot it. Yay, slip knots are so helpful when you're doing rainbow lamb. Now we have our little mini flower. And we have a little mini bow. So, thanks for watching. Bye!